Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Anchor's massive 60,000 milliamp battery pack with 87 watts max power out. This can be charged through USB-C. It can also be charged by solar panels for a more rapid charge here. This is really meant to be a battery pack here for when you lose power, when you're boondocking. This is a great little emergency battery backup here if you live in an area where you maybe are prone to extended power outages, it even has a built-in um, emergency light here so you can keep your house lit with it. Now we're gonna be looking at the pros and cons of this, break down everything you need to know about this, some important things that you need to be aware of with this, and more here in a minute. First though, a few disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I did buy it with my own money. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to it in the show notes and in the first pinned comment down below on Amazon where you can find it there. Lastly, if you can, help us out. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. We would really appreciate it. So with that said, let's dive into this. Take a look at this battery pack here. Now, right off the bat, one of the things with this real quick is it looks on the picture for uh, Amazon like it's kind of a slate gray. It's actually, I'm gonna call this army green. My wife retired from the army. So I'm gonna, this is kind of that green you see on a lot of army stuff. It does have here a, um, a glow in the dark uh, indicator lights here, which is really nice if you lose power to be able to find it. These are ventilation on the side. On the front, you have two USB-Cs and two standard USBs to charge up to four items at once. It also has a solar input. You can do the more rapid charge if you have a solar panel that does that kind of input here with it. You can also charge through USB-C. I have both a solar panel that has this kind of rapid charge support and one that comes out of a USB-C. You can charge it both ways with this. Now off a 30 watt charger with this, it takes about six um, hours to get about a 75% uh, charge. I would say about seven to eight hours to get a full charge on this. So overnight we'll charge this very quickly off a 30 watt one with the higher wattage, the faster the charging. Now you do have this light here um, at the top with it. There we go. And it's got a few different brightness settings with it. It even has an SOS mode and I'm not going to uh, have that go too far there with it. But then there is a di digital display and I'll show you that a little bit more in a minute. Tell you how much time left to for it to charge and how much time left for its battery when you're using it to give you an idea of how much wattage you're using at the moment and how much power remaining at that usage level is left. Let's take a look at everything that came with this and I'll talk about a few key things with this real quick. Starting off with the fact that this is a 60,000 milliamp battery pack. It is technically too large to fly in a plane. Don't be packing this. If they catch you with it, they're probably gonna confiscate it or make you put it back somewhere, lock it up. Now with that, it does have a very nice handle for travel. It's not that light. It's not something you're gonna to wanna to carry in a backpack, to be honest with you. But in a camper, in a uh, emergency um, earthquake or hurricane kit or net disaster kit period, this is a pretty nice battery pack. Now it's 87 watts out, but the maximum per port is 60 watts. So it can charge 60 watt devices. A lot of laptops are under 60 watts. A lot of laptops are over 60 watts. So while it may charge those slowly when they're not being used, it may not be an ideal way to power some more powerful laptops. I have a 100 watt laptop that this would charge slowly when it's not being used, but wouldn't be right to try to charge it as I'm using my laptop. But if I want to make sure my daughter's uh, tablets, phones, Nintendo Switch, earbuds, and the like are all got power in case of an extended power outage, if we're you know, we live where the tornadoes are common. We used to live in Texas where hurricanes would every now and then come. Having this there as an emergency is a really nice feature. The ability to have it rapid charge through a solar panel, if you have a large solar panel, or through USB-C is really nice. With up to 87 watts, you can get a lot out of this and do a lot with it. Now, I'm overall giving this two thumbs up. Now, in our testing, it works really well. The light on it is good enough. It's kind of nice um, to have as an emergency. It can go a very long time off of that with it. The ability to charge it through USB or a solar panel is nice. Now, this is not something, if you're can, going to rely on this for a majority of your power, you probably not want to use this. There's bigger, similar battery packs out there. But for the price, this is a very good power bank here to add to an emergency kit. And that's why I got it. This is why I'm going to use it. So that if we do end up in a place where we 
for a long period of time do not have power. I know I will have my cell phone with me to be able to um, connect to the uh, grid here. The cell phone towers with my house run off of backup generators when there's not power, which is really nice. Also, just to keep the miscellaneous things powered. Um, if you're using this for boondocking, you're going out in a camper, you're not backpacking with this because it's probably heavy for backpacking. It's a pretty good um, device there. So two thumbs up. I'll put a link to it in the show notes on Amazon in the first pinned comment in the show notes down below. If I didn't happen to answer one of your questions, leave me a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We would really appreciate your support. Until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.